Hey guys, so I'm here to film the Summer Love and Tag. We are at the end of summer, so I thought this was a perfect video to share with you what I have been loving the entire summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get started. We're at the end of summer, and I'm not gonna miss summer, honestly. Um, I'm not gonna miss it, I'm not gonna lie. It was way too hot, and then, you guys know I lived in California, so it's always hot, but it was really, really, really super duper hot, which I can deal with because it's dry heat, but then I moved to New York in the middle of summer. Whew, it was so humid and so hot, I couldn't even take it. I'm done with summer, I'm ready for fall. But I did do a lot during the summer, so I do wanna show um, some of the products that I've been loving during the summer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the tag. The first question is, but my favorite lipstick by far has to be this liquid lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics in the color Hollywood. It is just so pretty. So, so pretty and it dries matte, doesn't dry out my lips and I get so many compliments when I wear it. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So the summer nail polish that I have been loving has definitely been um, like any sort of like hot pink corally color. I really like to wear that on my toes during the summer, during the summer months or like a mint green. But this LA Colors Nail Lacquer and the color Flash is just gorgeous. It's like a peachy pink color. Um, it's just so pretty with my skin tone. When I had this on my nails, I really, really loved it. And it was only a dollar at the dollar store, I believe. When I was in South Carolina, I bought this. And it's just gorgeous. It's a really pretty color and really, really nice for summer. So the bikini that I love this summer, um, what I've actually been loving, or the bikini that I really love, I'm going to show you two. I don't like matching bikinis. I don't, I just don't look like that I like to mix match um, either solid colors or prints so this is the top <laughs> from H&M very very pretty I love strapless too and this is the bottom from forever 21 it's a you can't even see the color it's really it's more neon <laughs> in person it's just a really nice bikini bottom and at the bottom has some ruching ruching detail here so it's really pretty love that and the other bikini that I really love, I love this top. I've had it for years. It's a one shoulder top. So pretty. Oh my God. This is my favorite bikini top in the whole universe. Always wear it. It's a really nice like aqua, not aqua color. I don't really, what would you call it? It's like a teal, a teal color. It's actually a little bit darker than it's showing up on camera. Really nice. And then I like to wear with that. I like to wear like these textured textured printed bottoms. I have two different pairs. This is the first one and it has a little bit of blue in it so it kind of you know echoes the blue in the top. I think it's so pretty and then I have one that's um, a little bit like brighter but it's still this kind of like print. Love that together too. So those are my favorite bikini. Um, I really like the mocha frappuccino or the coffee, just plain coffee frappuccino. The other ones like caramel and cookie crumble, those are just too much and too sweet for me. So I really like the mocha or the coffee. Um, obviously I don't fake tan. I don't need to fake tan. I have a tan all the time. <laughs> so being, you know, black, I have it all the time and I love it. So I don't need to fake tan. So my favorite song this summer, there were a few. I really like the Nicki Minaj Pills and Potions song. I love that song. I love Nicki Minaj. That was a really good song. Um, I really, I discovered Tavlo and I like her song. Um, I think it's called Habits. Really like that song. Who else? Jasmine Sullivan came back. Yay. She came back. I love her. Dumb. And I discovered a band this summer thanks to my cousin. She has really good taste in music. And uh, the band is Alabama Shakes. Love. I love them. And I love the lead singer. She's just she's awesome. Also, hopefully in the future, I can see them live. Favorite summer accessory, of course, has to be my shades. 
I also wore a little bit like fedoras, but not a lot. I wore mo shades mostly every single day. I think to everyone this will probably be their favorite accessory during the summer because shades just are so awesome and they're, an, they're also a necessity, not only an accessory. So these are my favorite shades. These are from Ray-Ban. I got them, I think, in the spring. So I got them last spring and they are really nice. I like that they're huge and oversized, but they still kind of have like that aviator shape. Favorite, favorite, favorite glasses. Okay, favorite fragrance. I had to cheat because I'm such a fragrance person that I can't just choose one. I choose I chose three. I know I can even choose two. I had to choose three, but there were definitely more than three, but I, I made myself choose only three. So these are the fragrances that I absolutely love during the summer months. The first one is the Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. It is just divine. It's it has the citrusy, you know, notes from the nectarine and then it has that sweet note from the honey but it's so fresh and clean it's really nice and a, I think this will appeal to a whole lot of people because it's not just like sharp and citrusy and that's the only note you get this is so well developed it's really good it has so many different notes in it that I can smell and it's still a cologne so it's light but it's pretty it's effortless I love it the other fragrance I was obsessing over once I first got it and I used so much of it when I first got it, it's like crazy. This is the um, Hermes, the Mediterranean Garden. They have a garden collection and there are three fragrances within the garden collection. There's the Mediterranean Garden, there's the, I'm not French though, there's the Sir La Trois and the Sir De Nile. I know I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm sorry. But the Mediterranean Garden is the strongest. It is very grassy green peppery if you don't like that you might not like it but it's so up my alley it's so sophisticated and clean and fresh and sharp it's so good i love it it's so it's so good it's so good like ugh. you have to smell this fragrance if you come in counter with a nermis counter or if you come in counter with a fragrance department that carries it please smell it the last one is very very popular it is the Chanel Chance O Tundra or O Tender however you want to say it it is and you can tell I use a lot of it too it is their Eau de Toilette uh, fragrance that's in the Chance line it is so good oh, so like it's just very floral very light and pretty very girly and so many people like this because it's really appealing um, it doesn't smell it doesn't have any like crazy notes in it that some people might not like. It's just very floral and pretty, but it's not too floral. It's not too sweet. It's kind of just a very nice general fragrance for summer. I really like it too. And a lot of people wear it, but I still wear it and I really like it. So my favorite summer book, um, I read a few books this summer. Um, but the one that I most recently read uh, was the uh, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies Dawn of the Dreadfuls. So it's basically like, it's a zombie book, but it's mixed with like Pride and Pre uh, Prejudice. Um, it's really, really good. Um, it's, not, it's not like a modern zombie story. So it's, it's really nice. The main characters are really good. It's a good read. It's fun. It's easy to read. So yeah, Dawn of the Dreadfuls. And I love anything about zombies, so. We're at the end of summer and this summer uh, I didn't do like a whole whole lot because I had a lot going on in my personal life so I really couldn't do too much um, but I did move back to New York I think that's the most exciting thing I'm so excited to be back in New York my family is in New York and I really really like it there's a lot of fun things to do in New York and I just I really really love it so um, I'm in New York I think that's the most exciting thing I've done um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye bye summer and hello fall and thank goodness because I'm over summer, but I did enjoy it while it was here, even though it was crazy hot. Like I, sometimes I felt like I was dying. It was so hot, but, um, I'm just happy for, I'm just happy for, um, 
fall will be coming around because I love the fall. I love everything about the fall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you want to do the tag and say goodbye to summer with me, feel free to do so. Um, do it soon though because we're almost in fall. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will talk to you later. Bye guys. Uh, shampoo and conditioner. I love these. I love the packaging. It's just awesome on.